Yo, what's up guys? It's Pyogus here, the Crypto Pie, and today I want to go over guys on how to pick your best coins for the day to trade, right? Because this is a big question that I got and uh, you know, I just want to answer that and um, right, so let's just get into it guys. So what, what I like to do is just go to Binance.com, right? Just go to Binance.com and uh, go to Bitcoin or BNB, well whatever you want to trade right Bitcoin Ethereum USDT whatever so Bitcoin right for me then I look at 24 hour change or I look at 24 hour volume and I'll just put some coins like that in so I'm gonna put TRX in not CTR because we do read this guys you always want to read the top Binance delist Centra so you don't want to trade that because you don't know what's gonna happen you already see it dropped a lot so right TRX um, XVG if so I'll just put that in right so what I do then actually guys before I, I do that right so go on to your trading view on the top right you can make a new list and I just called mine daily list right so we will add TRX to Bitcoin um, XVG oh not Bitrex sorry about that we need Binance right Binance so and uh, let's see, well, ETH, Ethereum, but that's not a huge gainer though. You cannot hugely gain on that. EOS, ONT, EOS and ONT and BNB. EOS, so we'll do that. Ontology and BNB. Right, let's see, maybe there's some more. Uh, we got XRP here, not so much. POE and ZRX. Alright, let's just add that as well. PoE and ZRX. Right, so now I think we have enough for the day guys. So what I like to do then is just on the four hour, right, I first look here, right, so TRX, okay, a huge pump. Okay, so we have this retrace. Um, how much was the retrace, right? And we just do that real quick, right? I'll we'll just take the Fibonacci, take this, Okay, so it retraced 2.5 level, not to 618, but it's a decent retrace. But it was a huge pump, guys. So it's not the nicest thing I want to trade. We got a verge here um, on the four hour. This is looking a lot better. So, and then you just zoom in on the 30 minute, and I'm like, ah, it's under the cloud. Not that interested. So we go to next one, EOS, four hour, above the cloud, looking good, right? One, two, three, four. It's looking like it's already in its fifth wave. So kind of missed this. Yeah, you see you missed this. So you see, you have to be before the, the masses. And if you, so you can either buy when it's dipping, guys, it's more risky, or you can buy, if you just put your lines on here, right? simple very simple um, and then when it breaks out it breaks out right but you get these little wick retraces so you do get a spot to get in and uh, yeah that's pretty much just how you trade this um, ontology if you look at ontology also guys remember what I said the VWAP right I have I've only been using this for a little bit but I only like to buy when it's at VWAP close to VWAP or under VWAP if I want to go long so you know for a buy and you can only long the altcoins most of them right so um, yeah it needs to be close to VWAP definitely ontology is uh, far away from it it's not a buy BNB for our okay so BNB this uh, red line was the previous all-time high we did break it but not with a lot of conviction so yeah, watch out with this one, guys. Also, what I don't like to see, what I see here, right, is uh, you basically see the, the RSI is getting weaker, price getting stronger. Mm, don't like to see that too much. But nonetheless, 30 minutes is under the VWAP. It's at the 55 EMA. Uh, so it's a potential, right? It's a potential. It's very risky right now, though. PoE. Alright, what is PoE doing? 
we just take the Fibonacci to the top we see we hit a 6-5 retracement so do we expect a bounce? I kinda do, right? kinda do so if we just take 30 minute oh this is 30 minute, 15 minute um, also kinda risky so you definitely need to know what Bitcoin's doing and at the moment guys it's we missed the pumps right but uh you can this is how you look at it guys so basically you make your list in trading view and you just add the coins that you think are relevant for the day right you go to bitcoin market if you want to trade bitcoin and the 24 hour change and you just look at the smaller time frames right so the 30 minute 50 minute whatever but you do want to know what's going on on the bigger time frame like the four hour or well the four hour kind of just shows the same as the daily right so um yeah 30 minute so 0x look we might have a little bit of a pump here but this to me looks more like a pump than a dump I mean, perhaps no a pump right so we need to zoom even further down in order to really see what's going on here take the Fibonacci here and we see we retraced almost to the 618 right um, so we're under VWAP, might be a good buy. And then, I mean, you can kind of just shoot for this, this target, 7%. Very conservative, but um, at the moment, guys, it's a bear market. So don't don't shoot for too high returns, um, right? You need to just be happy with whatever you can get. So a trade here, and you know, it, it could be something like this, right? You want to buy let's say here you aim for this 7 per 8 percent your stop loss is right under the low 1.69 percent stop loss because if it goes lower you don't want to have that right obviously so you want to be out then and uh, this is just a trade you could do right 7 8 percent um, and uh, yeah basically so that that is how you do it guys just make sure that you do have a stop loss in place at all times right if you trade so you know if you do get stopped out you only lose one percent who cares right i mean it's it's small small amount compared to the eight percent that you can gain so as long as your losses are smaller and you let your winners be bigger then you're fine right let your winners right so i mean if you let it right to here that is already quite a bit and if you want to be aggressive about it you could actually let it right all the way up there again but uh, that's very aggressive and uh, at the moment in the bear market I don't like to be aggressive totally depends on the market we're in right so that is just how you do it so um, yeah and about Binance guys it's very easy how to put orders right so what's the coin we're looking at ZRX so you just go ZRX I'm not logged in right now but you could just you know put your limit order where you want and then you click buy now it says log in to or register to trade but there's a buy button or you can buy market never recommend market always recommend limit and of course you should BNB you should if you're first time on Binance guys buy some BNB right and also guys the Binance link is in the description below so you know you can uh, definitely register there um, and yeah so and also guys remember about the stop loss so you just put your stop limit order at like let's say 858852 or something like that or maybe a little lower if you want 8793 and then you put it at 8770 uh, or something for the limit so if you get stopped out it will stop you completely out and that's what you do in the stop limit you just put your stop order and then so your stop order is where it will trigger and your limit order is where it will sell down to so that's why you always want your limit lower than your stop in order to get out successfully and uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys I mean that's just uh, you know a, a something you can trade so I mean if you were in this trade right now you'd be doing pretty okay right look at this so with very minimal losses that you can make and if you do lose the whatever right uh, it's part of trading guys so um, in my telegram right we had this um, so with ICU moon tracker he's like I'm done with trading for now all right and that, that's fine but never give up guys never give up 
all right there's losing trades there's winners all right and as long as your lo losses are small and your winners are big you're doing a good job so um it's a horrible feeling i lost 0.03 myself today as well yeah guys um it happens to me as well it happens to anyone all right you you lose some you win some and uh, just let your winners be big and your losses be small all right that's all i can say especially in the altcoins guys especially in the altcoins and of course in margin trading you need to have a stop you need to have a stop you need to have profit targets you need to have everything in place before you even place the trade um the same thing on uh you know on binance uh obviously that's why i said you know we're targeting here here's our stop loss if it gets hit whatever okay so now we moved away from our lip uh, our entry order right so what i would do right now if we were in this trade guys i would put my stop at break even so right now i would be in a spot that i cannot lose on all right so if it goes down and breaks me whatever all right you don't lose you don't win uh that's just how i do that um it depends on your trading style but i like to do that so right now my stop would literally be at break even right there's no losses to be made so um, that is just something that that I do personally and um, uh, you know for so if it drops all of a sudden boom down whatever you're out but you're, you're out break even and at a potential gain right because if it does go up here that's a nice gain right so um, that is just something I would do and you see uh, it's got coming down and you know even though it comes down to your break even order then you just want to keep it there all right you want to keep it there because if you get stopped at break even guys the only thing you lose is a little bit of fees and uh, that's almost nothing i guarantee you so uh yeah you don't need to to worry about that and, uh, i mean if you get stopped out at break even then it's probably a reason for that right i mean bitcoin could be dropping um maybe there's bad news maybe the people are just done with trading this and they just want to drop it and uh yeah so break even guys is a definite it's awesome to be in to be at that spot all right because uh, you don't lose anything then so yeah guys that's just my little um you can say tutorial whatever you want to call it on like looking at what coins you should trade for the day and uh you know i just go to binance and i just check out either 24 hour volume 24 hour change and uh, I check what I can trade, right? You always want to trade something that has volume that you can trade in. So if you trade 0.1 Bitcoin, 0.2 Bitcoin, you don't want to be trading in something that only has a volume of like 5 or 10 Bitcoin. Um, you know, uh, you want to be trading something that has a high volume and uh, that, you know, easily to get in and out, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, yeah. Um, also, guys, if you're not in my Telegram yet, join up with the Crypto Buys blog. We can ask me anything, you can ask other people questions, you know, and it's just a great chat box to be in. Uh, some nice uh, charts here I see. I like that. I like that. Um, so, um, yeah, it's just a great chat box to be in. Also, guys, join up with the CryptoPies feed where I post all my upcoming videos. I post about upcoming announcements, upcoming ICOs. But right now, guys, we're in a bear scenario, right? Uh, it's kind of like a bear market so ICOs kind of give us bearish returns which means returns that are a little less than what we put in most of the time I know that's the occasional you know big boomers that uh, just get out of the gate and you know do like a two three four five X still in this bear market but I wouldn't gamble on it right so uh, stay safe about that guys so yeah both telegrams will be in the description below and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button. And if you've got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.